Well, obviously working him in and kind of dipping his toes in the water a little bit, but what did you kind of see from him and his development versus some of the things that you knew were an issue with him coming out of training camp and you were really preaching to him? Well, it's just really mainly it's great that he was able to get some on-the-job training, you know, and uh, I thought collectively as a team played well around him, and it was it was really great to be able to come back, watch the tape, and learn from it. I mean, that's watching yourself. There's no substitute for watching yourself on tape. What was your message to him after the game when you did watch it together? You know, we won the game. You know, that's huge. You know, that's that's the goal. And then we really went through the game, you know, with the nuts and bolts of just uh, – being consistent and operating on a consistent manner and you know it's his first game so I told him you only have to have a, a first game as a rookie starter once so we got that one behind us. How's he responded to that coaching in these first couple of days of practice since? Awesome yeah he's a great guy and um, you know willing to put in the time and learn and you know it'll it'll continue to go that way this is a learning process you know for him. He's the issue of having the ball too long in his hand and not, not making the decision quick enough. Do you think that's one area that once he saw that on film a couple of times uh, that maybe that kind of drove the point home? Yeah, I think for any quarterback, you know, you, you've got to be able to pull the trigger and let it let it go, you know, and when you're doing it for the first time, you know, the first time you probably operated that camera, it might have been a little, little odd, you know what I mean? So uh, it's a first time in a lot of, lot of ways uh, for Malik, and it was good for him to get on-the-job training is really how I look at it. What's a week like for you and Ryan in a, in a week where he's not out here on the field as much? Is it more work in the classroom, is he, or does he do more on his own? No, it's, the same, it's the same program, you know. It's the same preparation. You know, Coach Rabel always says he tells all active players and all practice squad players, prepare to play, and that hasn't changed. Pat, he, for a rookie, uh, sometimes they, they get in there and they, they want to start running. He seemed to show a lot of patience staying in the pocket. Was that something, you know, what, what, what did you see? And how good is it when a guy who has been such a good runner who can stay and, and try to work through the progressions? How good it was that? What did you see? Yeah, I think just the main thing is just, you know, a comfort level and having the game hopefully slow down for him. You know, first game, first game as a rookie starter, you know, it's things are flying, you know, and uh, – uh, it's great that he got on the job training. I can't say that enough. Um, so we'll just continue to grow, and it's a day-to-day -day process of growth and learning. And dealing with, and dealing with the ankle injury, right? It's, it's his right ankle that did his plant foot. How much can that affect your throwing ability? Yeah, I don't really want to get into injuries, and that's probably a good question for Ryan. He'd probably be able to tell you more. I'm not sure how he's feeling exactly, so that's probably a good question for Ryan with respect to that question. I really like going out there early, just getting my mind right before practices, before games. Um, and, you know, I've been putting effort in all year. You know, this process is a long process, especially getting until your rookie year. Um, but, yeah, I think it's just a routine that I've built. So, Ryan, coming here, deciding to come to the Titans, uh, you, know, you know, they have Brett Kern on the roster. What was that whole thought process like and, and making the decision, I'm going to come here and I'm going to battle for a job, and then you win it? Yeah, you know, I mean, it really goes down to relationships. Um, being undrafted, you know, I, I didn't really have many options, uh, especially there wasn't many positions, like, really open. Um, but the Titans gave me an opportunity. I had a good relationship with, with Craig and with Chase. Um, and it was just – it was a great fit for me to just feel like, hey, this is a place that I feel like I can, you know, have an opportunity to compete. When did you – when did, when you – you know, obviously you can kick the ball. Like Colorado, you know, you, hang time there is going to be impressive usually anyway. When you got here and you're still getting that similar hang time, was there a moment where you thought, you know what, I really can compete with, for this job right now? Totally, totally. And, you know, I put in a lot of, you know, effort into my hang time in the off season and a lot of work into it. So I kind of just felt like, you know what, like I need to display that and, you know, the work that I put in, I want to be able to, to show that I can do it outside of the state of Colorado. And obviously we know that he can run the ball, um, but it just hadn't been the opportunities to do it uh, because he's done so well in the pass game. He just where he's been playing at, um, it's been more in the pass game, but obviously we know that he can run the ball uh, based on what he did last season. It's on film. Uh, so when he got his opportunity the other day, he took advantage of them. Uh, and obviously I think it continued to lift us and give us that little bit of spark along with what, what we had going offensively. Was Derek's performance last week was rack up for, or for for you, given that you know they were expecting so much Derek on on Sunday, and, and still the, to have the production that he that he did. Well, first of all, credit to the offensive line, the tight ends, and receivers. You know, uh, having coached receivers for ten seasons, uh, 
those are the, the things that, that kind of go unnoticed. You know, in order to have long runs, typically there's somebody blocking further down the field. So Rob, Rob has done a great job getting those guys uh, buying in and blocking. And uh, as we talk about as a staff, it takes all 11 to run the ball. And so uh, credit to all those other position groups that, that did it. And then, like I talked about Derek several weeks ago, is – He's, he's making the right reads, he's in the right place, and then it kind of all came together for him the other day. How much of an adjustment is it for the backs when there is a quarterback change as far as timing and just making, your in, in, making sure you're in sync? I mean, obviously, I'm not sure, to be honest, because we work on it in practice and we rotate the backs whenever, every day in practice that we do run tracks, the backs rotate and go with every quarterback. So. Uh, hopefully those things, the, the, the thought is those things throughout the course of the season, if it ever happens, those reps that we've gotten with each of them, uh, hopefully that, that helps and makes the transition pretty smooth if, if we have to play, if there's a different quarterback playing that they're taking handoffs from. Everything. I mean, he's, he's taking advantage of his opportunities. He's still not really... Um, He's still not getting any more reps than what he got before, but he's taking advantage of the reps that he's getting. He's seeing and understanding um, the game better, which is, again, it's about what you should, you would expect from a, a um, third-year player. How much did you play up the Simmons rush, uh, maybe on the, on the run defense where he pushes Green out of the way into the running back? How much was that? Maybe play in the room, or what was that a good example of? It was a really, it was a good example of him, of Jeff getting his hands inside an excellent pad level. It's something that we work on on the, those sleds every day. And, and I mean, he's had a couple of those. Um, that one just happened to tackle the guy with the, with the body, with the blocker. So he's doing a good job. What's it, what is it about Jeff that makes him able to play so well if he's not practicing in a week? God, I guess. I mean, I, that's the only thing I can tell you. I mean, he's talented. It's, he's not taking reps like you don't see him out here, but he's taking mental reps. He's still in every meeting, does some walkthroughs, um, asks questions, does all of those things, and, and he's able to go out there and play. So not a lot of guys that I've been around can, can do that. So he was able to do it and, and hopefully continue to do it.